Welcome to our lecture online. Even though the concept variation is kind of an obscure concept in algebra, it's probably not the first thing to be talked about when you step into an algebra class, it's actually a really, really important aspect of science in general. And over many hundreds of years, very famous scientists have been using this concept to come up with the various equations and laws that they discovered. Let's take a look at a few of those that you're probably familiar with. The first one is the Newton's law of gravity. And Newton discovered that the force of gravity varies as the product of the two masses of the two objects involved divided by the distance between them squared. And we use the letter R for distance between them squared. So it varies directly as the product of the two masses and inversely as the distance squared. So then, to write that into an equation, we need a constant. We call that the constant of variation or the constant of proportionality. And so F equals K times the product of the masses divided by the distance squared. And of course, by now we realize this K is actually the universal gravitational constant. And that's where equation, the uh, Newton's law of gravity came from, where that equation came from. It's simply by determining the proportionality by determining the variation and then coming up with the appropriate equation. Here, Hooke's law. When Hooke tried to hang uh, an object from a spring, and as he, he put heavy and heavy object on the spring, the spring would then go, uh, would then extend farther and farther and farther. So he realized that the force, the weight of the object that he hangs on the spring, varies as the distance of the elongation of the spring. So that's where we have F equals kx. In this case, they use the very same letter for the uh, proportionality constant, and they did put a negative sign in there because of the, the displacement is in one direction and the force is in the other direction, but that's not important. Again, the relationship is that F varies directly as x, as how much you elongate the spring, and then x would be the constant that's proportional to the strength of the spring. And of course, probably the most famous equation of them all, Einstein's equation of energy, of energy equation, he realized that the energy, when we convert mass to energy, that energy varies as the speed of light squared. C stands for the speed of light, so it varies as the speed of light squared. And so he needed a constant in there, E equals K times C squared. And of course, in this case, the constant is the mass of the object, E equals MC squared. So notice that variation is the keystone of signs relating variables to one another, relating, of course, different aspects of nature to one another. And then we need to have that constant in there. In this case, constant K was the mass of the object. Here, the constant K was a spring constant. And here, the constant K was the universal uh, gravitational constant. And so, again, notice that you may not think that variation is important, but you can see in science, it's really important. And it's good to know, and it's good to learn how to deal with variation because you can really get a lot of insight into things. And we'll show you some examples of that later. Want to draw a picture? Nope, no pictures. <laughs> I'll let you draw the pictures in the thumbnail.